So yes, you read that title correctly. I was obese at 15, 240 pounds at 5'10 inside of 2023. But in October 2023, I decided to start my fitness journey. Now it's October 2024. So what changed inside of a year? I lost 30 pounds and I kept it all. And also I built a lot of muscle with these four realizations that I learned inside of this year. Now throughout this video, I want you to think about this quote. Truth is so obscure in these times and falsehood is so established that unless we love the truth, we cannot know it. By Blaise Pascal. The first realization is to do it for life. When I first started my fitness journey, I got very motivated by this one YouTuber that I watched. It was this black 19 year old that was jacked and also lean and very agile. I wanted to have that as well, but I knew that it was going to take me a couple of years to get to that. Point. So I gave myself a fictional deadline of four years. Since I was 15, this person was 19. But as the work kept going and I learned how to work out even more, it felt like a necessity to work out. I could not not work out. So instead of me having this four-year deadline, it turned into this lifetime deadline, which is the correct type of deadline. See, most people, including me back then, make the mistake of creating this fictional deadline. And when these people create this fictional deadline, they make the same success that they see on whatever social media, and they don't meet it, they get upset, discouraged, and they don't want to do it ever again. But if they instead had a bigger deadline, like a broader, larger deadline, a more realistic one, the momentum will build up and then they will want to do it for life and not just for this short time period. The second realization is to be obsessive and resourceful. So once again, the more that I worked out, the more that I wanted to do it and the more fun that it became. Replacing the other vices that I used to like, like playing video games, getting junk food, and watching Netflix. Now, the only fun for me is to test my physical limits. And this fun created the habit of me going to the gym six times per week. Now, unfortunately, there were some days where I didn't have access to the gym or I did not have access to the right equipment. But instead of being like most people and just thinking, oh, that's fine. I don't have the right equipment. I'll just rest today. Instead of having that closed in mindset, I opened my mindset up and I became more resourceful. I might not have the right equipment that I usually use, but there's these equipments that I have right now still can target the muscles that I need to work out. Basically, imagine that you inside of a gym with every single equipment and machine and everything that you will need to train your body. And one day, it's just dumbbells and resistant bands. Those dumbbells and resistant bands are enough equipment to train all the same muscles. It just needs to be inside of a different workout. It might be a little bit uncomfortable for starting off, but what's not a little bit comfortable when you're first starting off? Pretty much nothing. Third realization is to find and bundle what you love. See, going to the gym would not be the greatest vice in my life if it was fixed and rigid. Because back in the day, like most people, I would follow workout routines that have stupid movements that look like a circus head that does not accommodate for my skill, endurance, or energy level and is not suited for my body. Luckily, I don't have to do that ever again because I found a way to make the gym fun and effective. This is the four step process. Firstly, I test out a ton of workouts, mainly to get the form down. Second is to evaluate the ones that did not feel like hell and actually target the muscle that I wanted to work on. Thirdly is to make a list of the workouts that met the, the criteria that did not feel like hell and also target the muscle that I wanted to train. And I would recommend that you pick one exercise for each muscle instead of a multiple exercises for the same muscle. Now those multiple exercises that you like that target the same muscle can be like alternate exercises. Just in case you don't have the equipment at the same time or you don't have the access to the gym, you can instead replace that workout with the workout that you usually do. And fourthly is to plan out your split. So basically ask yourself, how many days am I willing to go to the gym? And whatever that is, that's your split. Now that we covered 
how to get inside the gym. That's good, but most people, once they click off, they won't do anything. Or if they're lucky, they will do actions and then do this one time and never again. See, that's good, but we want to be great. We want to be consistent. We want to constantly keep doing the work so we are guaranteed to see the results. And I understand there's been times where I did not want to go to the gym. There have been some times more recently where I just did not want to get up. I did not want to go to the gym. I didn't want to do any videos. I didn't want to do anything. But I fought through it because I broke it down. So basically, I want you to imagine that we're back in first grade. And we see this new word that we don't know how to pronounce. We go up to the teacher and we ask the teacher something. A first grader would say, like, how do you say this word? And, something like that. and the teacher stands up, bring us to the word and tells us to spell it out and once we sp not spell it out sound it out and tells us to sound it out and once we sound it out we can say it more fluently and then we sound it out again and again and again until we don't even need to sound it out and we just know how to say it off the back of our hand that's the same thing that we're going to be doing we're going to use the same concept but instead to get into the gym by doing one step at a time so from going to, so from going from your bed to the gym, seems like a very difficult task. But from going from your bed to standing up, seems pretty easy. From going from standing up to getting your clothes on, seems pretty easy. From getting your clothes on and getting the gym access card or your water or whatever you need to get, seems pretty easy. Then getting your shoes on, seems pretty easy. Walking out the door and walking to the gym or driving to the gym, and after you drive to the gym, you walk through the gym door, you scan the card or whatever you need to do, go to the equipment, set up the equipment, warm up by stretching and stuff like that, and then boom, you're already working up. See, if we break it down one step at a time, it seems way easier than, oh, you're laying now, I need you to go to the gym now. So now that you have learned these four realizations, that's good. But if you want to be a little bit more advanced, you want to have a deeper understanding of what exactly to do, luckily I have made a video of how you can form a workout routine that you will want to follow in a very effective, more in-depth. So go check that video out. It's going to be in either one of these corners. And always be resilient. Peace out.